Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Aries. This is for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week of January 18th through January 24th. Keep in mind, the timing is still fluid, and this reading may or may not be for you. Not every, not every reading is for you. So what do we have for Aries for the week of January 18th through the 24th? Overall energy, please. Judgment. Judgment is a card of absolution. It is the end of things. So something is coming to an end. This is acceptance, forgiveness, judgment, being judged. It's the end of a trial. Are you ready to be judged? Okay. There could also be a reconciliation here of some sort or, you know, whatever is happening. It's a life changing decision. This is a major awakening, a major epiphany. Um, as something is revealed because this is revealed truth truth being revealed that causes an ending of some sort that's what it is so we have we have the end of something that it's absolution I mean judgment is absolution it's it's time it's time for the verdict right You know, that is also a card of karma, okay? It's a card of karma, so there could be a karmic ending. That's being held accountable. Somebody's being held accountable. Responsibility is being assigned. Um, there could be, um, the if there's, there's some sort of court, if there's court, it's the end, okay? You notice this is like, you know... It feels like there, you know, it looks like there's a reconciliation of some sort, but it doesn't, it's probably not what you think. Okay, it looks like, it looks like they're in a graveyard there, you know, so it definitely is the end of things. Um, and there could be some sort of reconciliation between two people. There's been some sort of separation of some sort, but it's coming to an end. Wheel. Indecisiveness, allowing your life to ramble aimlessly. Well, family wishes come true. Purse, pay attention to your finances. So pay attention to your finances. Your life has been uh, rambling aimlessly, but I think it, if that's the case, it's going to come to an end because this is a major ending. So yeah, this is, this is the end of something. Very significant. Queen of Wands. Now that could be your energy. This is needing to have courage, needing to be strong and be, be brave. You're going to need to be brave during this time. You're going to be glowing. You're going to be in your own element. You know, you're going to be on fire. You're going to be vibrating at a very high level. looking very good your health is probably going to be at a very good level if you've been unhealthy or if you've been feeling sick probably not this week you're going to start to feel better um now this is the some sort of competition you've been in a tough position but i feel like it's over you've you've been struggling right you've you've been maybe you've been feeling like you've been attacked you know you there's been a lot of competition or there's been a lot of um uh, opposition I feel like you've been in a in a position where you've had to really fight right you've had to fight some sort of a battle and there's been a lot of uh, chaos a lot of people pointing fingers uh, and I feel like it's caused you a lot of strife I think that you've been under a lot of strife but I feel like it's over I do it's definitely over with that judgment card Nine of Pentacles. Now this is success, enjoying life, abundant. The storm is over. I mean, what more can I say? The storm is over. You're going to be... Uh, this is the end of a battle, receiving some sort of abundance. Your, your life is about to get a lot better, put it that way. 
shining. You see the star is shining. You're going to be really, really shining this week. You are. Two of Swords reversed. Eight of Cups. Now somebody could be saying goodbye to a disappointing situation. The disappointment is over. This is opening up, letting your guard down. This is the um, seeing the truth. You know, somebody may have been avoiding the truth. Now the truth is very, very clear. Seeing things very, very clearly. You can let your guard down. This is a headache that is going away. It is a headache. Seriously, the headache is that you've been dealing with is definitely about to dissipate. It's the end. Um, going to a better place with the Eight of Cups, leaving the emotional disappointment behind. Um, you may have been wishing for something, you know, with the wishing well. Uh, and the Eight of Cups goes to the Nine of Cups, which is a wish fulfillment. So wherever you're headed, you're headed towards wish fulfillment. Something is going to go in your favor. This is the end of a trial. You have persevered. the end of a battle but you have been fighting you were in a tough position against many others who were probably very petty very highly competitive now you may be going your own way the nine of pentacles is a very independent energy so i feel like this is you know you enjoying the finer things in life single grateful you know there's going to be there could even be an increase there could be an increase of money or an increase of abundance and abundance comes in many forms okay it can come in health because it feels like your health is going to be improving this week okay so i feel like you were blocking something or, or or abundance was being blocked. But now, because it feels like you're going in a new direction, you're leaving behind the indecisiveness and the stagnation and the overwhelming fear. I feel like you, there's no fear anymore. There's, there's absolute fearless energy here. There's nothing holding you back anymore. You were, it feels like you were letting other people hold you back. And, and, and maybe it was your own fear. I don't know. Um... It may have even been money. Some of you may have been held back to held on to something for financial reasons, you know. But anyhow, I feel like it is definitely the end of that phase. I feel like it's it's time, you know, it's time, you know, when at the end of the, the trial, it's when they, they make the decision. It's the final decision. It's the final decision to um, replace your fear because this is letting go of fear the two of swords reverse of letting go of fear no fear no fear i'm going somewhere you're going somewhere aries and wherever you've been wherever you've been recently there's been a lot of emotional disappointment there's been sadness this is saying goodbye i mean the eight of cups is saying goodbye to something so I feel like there has been some sort of delay and or postponing something, but lies have been exposed or you're going to see something very, very clearly this week. There could be lies exposed this week. I mean, you think about Judgment Day, you know, you go up to heaven, right? If it's not court related, you go, you go before you get to heaven, you go up to Judgment Day and you go over everything and you get to see everything that happened so this is, and, and again, with this, with ev and everybody's different perspective, everybody's point of view, and what everybody did. That's what a trial is. You get to, every, it all comes out. So something is coming out, you know, and you're gonna see something very, very clearly that perhaps you didn't see before. Seven of Pentacles. I feel like we have a relocation here. I feel like you're going to be relocating or you're going to be planning a relocation. Uh, this is, uh, you've invested in something. Maybe it was financially. You've invested in something that just wasn't fertile and it's time to go someplace else. This is a dead end, right? It's like you, you, you really put in a lot of effort into something that, you know, well... It's over. It's time to go someplace else. Time to plant your seeds someplace else. Time to start over someplace else with faith. 
with faith. So I do feel like this week you're going to be planning a move or you're going to be moving or, or something like that. Or you're going to be starting something new. You're saying goodbye to something that you have invested in. Saying goodbye to something you've invested in that just hasn't come to fruition. And it may be because you know your value. The Nine of Pentacles is somebody that knows their value, knows their worth, that is very hardworking, that has picked themselves up from rock bottom, that doesn't need another person that's going to fight with them. You know, this is leaving behind the, the battle. It's like I'm not fighting anymore. I know my value. I'm strong. So this, I, I feel like you're going to be in your power this week. You're going to be, you're going to have a lot of strength. You're going to have a lot of courage and there's not going to be any fear. And I feel like you are uh, making a life changing decision that, uh, I think you've been thinking about it for a while anyway. This this Seven of Pentacles, this, you know that it's over. Anyway, you're making a decision. You've been indecisive, allowing your life to ramble aim aimlessly. You're making a life-changing decision that is best for you. You know, you've got this new vision and you've got this bright, I mean, the, the Queen of Wands, that's that's a brightness about you. you got this glow, you've got this shine, you, you're vibrating very highly. It's like you're, you're receiving the, the messages that you um, need to move you forward. You know, it's, it's having no fear. So I feel like this week, um, you're letting your guard down. I feel like you're done investing. Um... And something that you have been fighting. You've been fighting for something and, and it's over. It's over. No more fighting. No more fighting. I'm walking away. Going towards that wish fulfillment. So I feel like, yeah, you're going towards wish fulfillment. Knight of Wands. Could be very sudden. Could be a sudden departure here. Eight of Cups with the Knight of Wands right next to it in reverse. This could be a very sudden departure. happens extremely fast somebody could be moving very very fast getting out of a situation that you know and look is no longer fruitful you know I feel like you've invested in something for quite some time hoping you know and praying hoping and praying for the best but I just feel like it's come to an end where you know that there's no growth here. You know that it's time to go. And I feel like this is the week where you just do it. You just do it. For some of you, you may be getting a new job offer. You know, maybe it has to do with a job. Maybe it has to do with a business. Maybe you're going to start your own business or something like that. You definitely have the skills to do your own thing. You're, this is like an entrepreneur type of energy for some of you going your own way. Or, you know, um, yeah, some of you may be starting your own, starting your own business or uh, coming up with a new approach. You got this new vision, right? You got this new vision and, and running with it. I mean, literally running with it. So you may, you may be taking on a new uh, opportunity that could make you a lot of money for some of you. Um, So yeah, I feel like you, you're in a tough position and you're going to be making this decision to uh, do something. I feel like it's very spontaneous. You're going to do something very, very spontaneous. And whatever it is that you're doing, I think that, I think that you know that it's time. You can't just keep rambling aimlessly. You can't. It's time to accept that something is over. That's the judgment card. That's accepting. It's accepting, you know, the punishment or the, you know, truth. It's accepting the truth. So you're going to be accepting the truth about something this week that, you know, you've been, I think you've been battling with this, you know? But it's going to be very, very, very clear that it's time to go, whatever that means. Some sort of truth is going to be revealed that gives you a new vision. And this vision could be very profitable to you. It could. 
you've been investing in something that isn't worth it. Turn around and walk away. And I think that's what you're going to do. And I think you're headed towards something a lot more abundant. So this is a very sudden spur of the moment decision to depart from something. Okay? And you are headed towards wish fulfillment. Trust me, you are. And happiness. I also feel like there's some seeds that you have planted some time ago, maybe, I don't know when it was, long time ago, that are coming to fruition. Also, the number 14 is prominent here, so I don't know why 14 is coming up for you, but I feel like there could be there could be a reconciliation with somebody, I don't know where 14 comes in, you know, um, maybe it's with another fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. I do feel like there could be a reconciliation with somebody from your past. And it doesn't have to be a lover. It could be somebody that you worked with. I'm not sure, but there's death or a child. Anyway, Aries, I feel like uh, this is a week of saying goodbye very, very suddenly to something that is no longer growing. It's time to invest someplace else. That's what you're going to be doing. Good luck.